What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I've got a super quick second video for you guys. I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware that there appears to be either a bug or there was a hidden buff to the Renetti's aftermarket part, which is the Jack Ferocity kit. And this is the one that effectively turns it into an SMG, so it turns it into full auto. And while there were no mention of any changes with the Season 3 updates, this kit became insanely powerful with that Season 3 update for a couple different reasons. The first reason, and by far the biggest reason here, is it appears there's no longer a damage penalty for using this kit. Pre-patch, this is what the advanced stats look like for the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit, and you can see with our damage values, they were all noticeably reduced from the base Renetti. Post-patch though, when you look at the advanced stats, there doesn't appear to be a damage loss at all when you put this kit on. And at first I thought this may just be a display error or something, so I hopped in and I actually did the testing, and it turns out the advanced stats were correct here. There is no damage penalty anymore for this Jack Ferocity kit. Meaning, instead of it being a 6-9 to nine shot kill, it's now a 5-7 to seven shot kill. And to top all of this off, when we look at pre-patch versus post-patch here, when we're looking at ranges and our time to kill values, since these do change, we can see that we maintain the range boost that we would normally get with the kit, so we've got much better range values than the base Renetti, but we have the same damage values as the base Renetti. And this means, with a 5-shot kill, we're killing in just 280 milliseconds, which is a ridiculously fast time to kill when we're talking 30 plus meters. Even for like an assault rifle, they're not typically killing this fast at that sort of a range. And this, combined with the fact that this didn't show up anywhere in the patch notes for Season 3, leads me to believe that this was an unintentional change. So I suspect this will likely get fixed at some point in the not too distant future, and if and when it does, I will be sure to update the title of this video. I'll just put like fixed in the title or something, just so you know whether or not this is still active. However, there was also another hidden buff here, and this one, I wouldn't be surprised if this were intentional. This is something else I noticed that changed when comparing pre-patch versus post-patch in the advanced stats. This is to our horizontal recoil control. Before Season 3, with this kit, you can see a 20% increase to the amount of horizontal recoil we experience, whereas post-patch, we're seeing a 2% reduction to horizontal recoil. And again, I wanted to make sure this wasn't a display error, so I did some recoil testing here, and comparing them side to side, you can see very clearly that we've got significantly less horizontal recoil now while using this kit. And this one does seem more likely to potentially be an intended change, but again, there was nothing stated in the patch notes, so this one may have been unintentional as well. So there we go, those are the two changes that took place with the Jack Ferocity kit with the Season 3 update. And I thought I may as well share the setup that I'm using with this, since I'm sure many of you guys will want to try this out and have some fun with it while it lasts. And this is the exact same setup that I shared in my gun guide for the Renetti, although I have updated the recoil plots here, so this is with the current version of the Jack Ferocity kit. So with this one, we're using the ELR Blackfire Compensator, the Cronin Mini Pro Optic, the Ravagate Stock, and the 50 Round Drum combined with the Jack Ferocity Kit. This one is excellent if you just treat it like an SMG, and especially now that we have a ridiculous time to kill potential out to a very solid range, you should be able to find a ton of success with this setup, at least as long as it lasts. And with that, this is where I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think about this hidden change that came to the Jack Ferocity Kit? Do you think this was an unintended change, or do you think they actually meant to buff this kit as much as they did? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.